one headline stuck out to us. <coughs> all the townsmen were massacred. You mean all the- just the townsmen? So like, what, no women were killed? Only men? Some of the victims were Wordsworth students. Okay, well, you see, my mummy is visiting me today. What? That's nice, but I thought your mother... Wasn't she abusive towards Oyana? What a terrible thing to do to Roddy. Right when I felt like I should apologize, I felt Ronnie begin to hug me. Why? Because my- I can't even describe how anxious and sad you look right now. Seeing it on your face like that makes me sad too. I want to make you feel better no matter what. Roddy. Mommy, I'm surprised at how much weight you've lost. Um, are you better now? Yes. I'm all better now, Liliana. I'm sorry, I don't trust that. Hey, do you think Liliana's having a good time with her mom? I hope so. Liliana's reunion with her mother was sweet. She seemed genuinely happy. I could tell she missed her mother so much. Oh, could it be Liliana? Come in! Excuse me. What? Sheena? This is a surprise. We had just spoken that morning. I wonder if something had pro progressed. I forgot to ask you something. What? You visited Sheena behind my back? You said you went on a walk. Ah, uh, yeah, sorta. It didn't seem worth mentioning. What? You cheated on me? No fair, I wanted to sneak around and have an early morning rendezvous with my. No one's chat. no one's cheating on you. Or I mean on anyone. Besides, we sleep in the same room, don't be stupid. Oh yeah, separate rooms might be better. But I couldn't bear to live without you. She really was stupid. Ah, you're so cute when you're jealous, precious, adorable. Uh, uh, mm. uh, anyway, let me make my point. I saw more of Sheena there than I ever wished to know. I realized it was better to ignore her. Oh, was that okay to say in front of Roddy? Don't worry about Roddy. Does that mean you trust me? Roddy doesn't matter. Oh, we're going there? I'm just saying you don't know how to work the laptop. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hell, without internet access or computers, how do people live around here? Indeed, this town is traditional. Technology doesn't seem like a big pr priority around here. Right? Regardless, it's okay if Roddy listens. What? You'll let me stay? If Roddy had a tail, I suspect it would have wagged back and forth at a brisk speed. Yeah, sure. I don't need to hide anything from Roddy. And I... You look like you want to go to bed. Then go on up there, puppy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so glad. <laughs> if I would cough, <clears throat> I would be too. Let's get to the point. Could you please tell me more about the USB stick you have? Uh, if you use it to open the laptop, <coughs> then I have to look. E is B stick? Is that like a wand or something? It's not what you think, Roddy. It's not magic. It's this. That little thing? What does it do? It's a container that holds a lot of data. In this, you could store a whole library's worth of information. What? Really? Amazing! How'd you fit in so many books into that tiny container? It became apparent to me that explaining its purpose to Roddy was futile. And soon I nagged. I was nagged by a minor headache. 
Sheena, here. This USB stick is pretty old. Haven't seen this design in a while. <coughs> That's all I had. I snuck it from my father when he wasn't looking. Looking? <laughs> um, my, what do you mean when your father wasn't looking? Roddy eked out her question awkwardly. Shit, I shouldn't have said anything if they were going to ask. It's hard to bring up the USB stick without mentioning my past. I wasn't afraid of my father anymore. But I didn't want to talk about him either, nor was I desperate to bury it. I chose a path that defines who I am now. I chose my little sister. It's not an exciting story, but maybe it's time I told you a little more about me. <clears throat> I don't mind. Of course, I'll listen to whatever you have to say, my... I belong to a family of four. When my parents got divorced, I was separated from my sister. Right, Tanai, eh? Yes. <coughs> the divorce took a big toll on my father. It seemed he couldn't handle the shock of losing his family. At first, he was just overprotective. Soon, he was terrified by the thought of me leaving my house. Even for a minute, he'd explode. Even in talking about my past, I feel the fire burn as hot as it did then inside me. My father forbid me from leaving the house. As consolation, he provided me with a phone and a laptop. I used, my, I used to email my sister with it. It's the only thing that made me happy. Couldn't you have contacted someone to help you? I could have, but I didn't. He threatened Sanae. He said if I ran, then Sanae was next. <sighs> Don't give me that look. I didn't mind. I did it to protect Sanae. I found ways to occupy myself. All thanks to the internet. I wanted to dig deeper, find places and no one else knew. I'd crack into other com <coughs> computers. That's when I discovered hacking. Before I knew it, I became a hacking pro. It almost felt like I hacked to prove something to myself. For a girl trapped in a small room, it was liberating to send messages to other people, strangers from elsewhere in the world. I'd write to them, I see you. Wow, that's creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. I see, which explains your talents. Hacking online? Is this more magic? So this ties into my story with the USB. One day, I hacked in the service for a company called Enigma Games. What? Enigma Games? Uh, you've heard of them, Sheena. I guess they're a pretty famous company after all. Right. I figured like Sheena was about to be know about them. I work there. So did Arata. What a find that was. I found all sorts of fantastical character designs, fully rendered worlds. It enthralled me. I wanted to know more, so I dug deeper and deeper. Doug? Think of it as looking for treasure. I had to dig deeper and defeat the protector of the treasure. You infiltrated it? You bypassed Enigma's advanced security? Yeah, but they knew their stuff. They sent a counterhack through a malware program and severed my connection. All the data I extracted was instantly deleted. But for some reason, there was one file that they left behind. <laughs> it was mysterious. <laughs> I couldn't find any kind of program to extract or open it. The World Sky. That's what's stored in the USB. I see. That data. Um, was there anything else? Oh, yeah, well, along with that file, there was a message. It said, when the time comes that you can access this file, I'll see you there. Obviously, it, had, it was obviously a message from Arata. Free yourself. Like, Arata, I wouldn't doubt that he has gone through all the second game, like he's been watching, and he's gone through all of it. And so he's like, well, I guess I gotta reset. So he reset. And was like, yeah, I'm just going to do it like this now. Those words left a deep and everlasting impression with me. <coughs> I carried the data of that USB stick and took it everywhere I went, like a good luck charm. <sighs> Thanks for sharing all that with me. I'm a little impressed. That I hacked into Enigma? 
Yes, actually, you see, uh, I work for Enigma, and Mizunashi is my mentor. You worked for Enigma? Oh. What? What is it? Sheena's who's? Sheena's- wait, huh? Wait, hold on, let me do this again. What? What is it? Sheena's who's ma? Uh, is she a mom? After all you've told me, I know for sure the message and the data were left by Mizunashi. Uh, now I understand how you were able to use his laptop. But I wonder why he chose you. I didn't understand any word you said, but I picked up that you've been through a lot. It seems like your soul is trying to find peace. May you find sal salvation in the arms of Elstrain. Roddy hugged me, not with her usual over-eager hop, but with a tender embrace. It hadn't been a while since anyone hugged me this tightly. <coughs> She's so warm. I was almost embarrassed by the realization. That seemed so obvious. <coughs> right. Thanks, Roddy. I wanted to retreat from shame, but I didn't want to stop her. A strange dilemma. I wonder how I looked in that moment. Hmm. What a nice moment for you two. If this menu thing wouldn't get in the way. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know why Mizunashi gave you the key, but it has to mean something, a mystery that only Mizunashi can illuminate. Now, I want to meet him. Well, that's everything for me. Pleasure. Sheena stared back at me blankly as I offered her a hand. Immediately, she beamed and shook it. <clears throat> it's a pleasure. Even her handshake felt remarkably kind. Well, I should get back to my main duties. See you around. Sure. Okay. Later, Sheena. Uh, 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 what? Oh, what? 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 No, no. Uh, what did I tell you? It happened. It's happened. What did I tell you? I warned you about this. How, how much have I been warning you? And you're not listening to what I'm saying. I can't... It's too late for this. Uh, I'm just gonna let this... No, I have to. At least I can't be too loud. It's all your fault. Our family. If only you weren't born. I can't do that last part. Too late. Are you... Huh? Are you going to feed me too? Can't you see I'm trying my best? I'll squash you. Uh, what the fuck? Oh my god, her mother has gone insane again. What the? We overheard a shrill commotion coming from the other end of the hall. Was that Liliana? Which means the woman screaming was her mother. What happened? No. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Mommy? Uh, what, she's, she's going back and forth here. The woman is... Jesus. Yeah, this isn't good. That's not normal. I'm checking up on them. Wait, I'm going to. Me too. I'm worried about Liliana. Don't you... Don't you dare put your hands on that poor girl, woman. I don't care if you are her mother. No. This is, you're, you're breaking your daughter's mind and your own mind's already busted. <laughs> it's like you're the one who said it. Jesus. Where's Liliana? Well, I don't know. Maybe she's right in front of you and you're kind of going ballistic on her. Liliana! By the time we got there, Liliana was cowering on the floor. Is that Liliana's mother? Please calm down, miss. You're scaring the students. Refrain from any more shenanigans in this room. Stop your fighting at once. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think we can get through to her. Abigail and Sarah tried breaking up the dispute, but there was nothing they could do. Liliana, what happened? Uh, why is your mother freaking out?
Jesus Christ. Don't run outside. Wooliana, hold on! Wooliana, Abigail, they're gone. Roddy, let's find them. Okay. What, is she hitting something or did she just fall on the floor and start like rolling around? Either way, let's toss this bitch in a cell. Oh, she's dying. Good. I guess. <clears throat> Foam spittled out of the mouth of Oviana's mother as she descended into madness. Ah, shit. Oviana! It's okay. Let the adults handle this. Please, my Roddy, bring them back. Got it. Thank you, we're going. Oh no, that's words you don't like. If it wasn't wait, I would have done that. I would have done it poorly. Wait, oh. Oh, I forgot to tr but that they probably wouldn't be voiced anyway. Let's just get this done. I worry for Liliana. Yeah, I mean, her mother said all that. <sighs> My mother... Roddy? Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Let's find Abigail and Liliana already. I think the two of them headed north. Watch Abigail get killed doing this. Let's head after them. Hmm. Well, shit. So hold up. The other thing to look at. Oh my god, we got them all. They're all at level 20, but we have them. Look. We got them all. There she is, people. It's Sheena. We have her again. Come to save point. Well, hot damn. Her run is the same as usual. I forget where her freaking idol animation is. I don't think she'll do it. I wonder if... No, they probably don't have it. I was gonna see if they had their, like... DLC outfits from before. But I don't think they do. This one out. Wait, Sheena doesn't show up in camp? What? Welcome. Well, and the others probably won't either. Oh my god. Why is there such expensive gear here now? I mean, I have a lot of money, but, like, why is there so much stuff? How I'll accept the mission. The way she's like, I'm gonna do it. All right. All right, that should do it. 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 It's nice to have Sheena back in the party, you know. All right, hold on. Let's go. Let's check everything out right quick. Let's just check everything out. Let's make the party up to how I used to like it in in the first game. This, if you didn't watch my playthrough of the first game, this right here is my original Death End and Request 1 party. Sheena, Lily, and Silica. So that's what I had before. Come to save point. Which is... Yeah! I think the <laughs> symbol attack is yeah! different. I don't remember her swinging yeah! her sword like that. Let's see here. I found a save point. Same voice, that's good. Her well, her B is kind of I don't know. I'm firing off. I think that's the same as before. Oh god, that sprint. Alright, let's see. Save it time. Save 
cape in time. Her cape still goes a little weird. Take that! Ha! I see. All right. See, I would have no idea if that's her original idol animation or not. And we can check out. We can check out Al, Clan, Lucille. I, she, yeah, I forgot she could still jump, and that she's also walked to the chair. Yes, Ace. Hmm. Save point. I see. <sighs> Where? Are... I, well, I guess we're not hearing that. Well, Koya is getting right off into her idle animation. <laughs> yeah. Save right. point. Was her voice that deep? Oh, she's in that run. Okay, hold up. Let's see here. Look at Al. Looks like a save point to me. Same voice. Did her leg just? No, her supposed to do that. Silly run. All right, so I can do a whole lot of grinding now. That's for sure. Like a whole lot. Saving time. Sort of a normal run to you. Jeez, her freaking breaths are crazy. I think she needs to calm down there. This is totally not Death in Request 2. This is Death in Request 1. Which, like... I don't know. Kind of weird to still see... To see some of their stuff here in 2. But hold up. So I did do this. Um, it's uh, View Equipment. Sheena. A blade designed by Sheena herself. Ready for battle. Hmm. So I have her maid outfit. Which, okay. So this right here I'm going to mention is... This should have been here originally. You know? Ready for battle. I don't know why... You have to pay $2 for this. It actually does. It what? Well, it actually changed her design there. Hold up. It actually changed her portrait. Hold up. Let's see here. Oop, that's it. They got the same glitch mode. That's for sure. We don't even need to look at the others because they are dangerous. Yet, see, this is supposed to be censorship. The little spot they have around her, around Mai's chest. <coughs> that's their censorship. And around her, uh, Roddy's stomach. Like, yeah, the, the, what a nice excuse of censorship, but that's what it is. They don't have that. Uh, I can't really sh show anyone's. Let's see. Come to save point. I'll sit this one out. Oh, now Sheena shows up in here. So, like, you need to have Sheena in her maid costume for her to even appear. Huh. So, I guess by doing that, we get some uh, nice DLC conversations. Welcome. I have good items. Alright, let's see.
spying, are you? the damage up? I don't know. See, they have a costume tab where you can go ahead and buy some costumes, which I doubt you can do. I obviously need this for something. Will this thank you very much? How rare for a customer. How rare. Alright, that should do it. How rare to be a customer. How Please, do be careful. Alright, let's see. Let's go view our equipment for everybody. I think that is her original sword. I can't remember. Ready for battle. I could just buy the freaking attack stuff for everybody, but I don't want to waste my money just in case there's some like really Ready good. For battle. Things to find. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Are you ready? Are you see this one makes her white brighter, in which I do kind of prefer her to wear that, but I don't know. Yeah, this makes them darker. And she doesn't of course she would have her horns. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. This'll do quite nicely. I've made up my mind. So they don't, they won't have their swimsuits with their alternate colors, uh, which I kind of find to be some bullshit. Check this out. 50 degrees, eh? Uh, don't, <laughs> that gives me bad memories. You do not? Oh, yeah, okay, she does. Check this out! Check this out! This is it! This is it! Not bad! It's like, yeah, I could go buy all the better things, but I, eh, I won't use all of them forever. I'll, I'll have myself this a one. set party. I see. I've made my choice! This is nice. This is nice. So you know what the funny thing is here? Out of all, ever since I played Death End and Request, I, that was the first time I ever heard of Kaylee Mills, I'm pretty sure. And I've seen her in many other games. I never, I don't think I've heard Lily's voice actress say anything else. This'll do quite nicely. I've made up my mind. I could have, if she has a very big vocal range, she could easily change her voice. For Al's? Check this out! I think I might have heard Al somewhere else. Check this out! As for Clea's, yeah, I've heard hers. Uh, heard her in Cold Steel and Persona 5. Lucille. I think I already knew Lucille's voice actress before going into Death and Request. And I don't know Clea's. I mean, Silka's. Idiot. Uh, but with that, I can definitely go do a bunch of grinding. I can get them up to level 61, which, hmm. See, I was gonna <laughs> make up a plan that, like, oh, I'm gonna keep <laughs> our high-level characters in the party and level them up one at a time. That's gonna take forever. Like, really? I don't want it to be taking so long. 
It's nice to have the old girls back, though. She the adventure from Moro's Odyssey. It looks just like her. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep... I'm definitely not just gonna keep calling them by their game names. I'm, a, I'm gonna stick with their real names like I did in the first one as well. Unless, like, I shouldn't. Because then I probably sound dumb because the real ones are, wa are still walking around and they are their own person. We should check that out. What does Al do? Kinds of poisoning. It, the what? What's your seal do? I see. All right. Interesting. Alrighty then. Well, that is it for this episode of Death and Request. It is nice to have all these characters back. I definitely can do a lot of work with it now. So I'll thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Death and Request. Bye-bye.